this is Big She Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Warrior 3! Let's head to the cave south of Seminale and try to find that mirror of Ra. Now this is a, not really a long cave, but long enough. So, especially if you don't know what you're doing. And we got some new enemies here, skeletons and voodoo shamans. Let's see, voodoo shamans I can put to sleep! And the skeletons, I'm just gonna go all out to make sure to take that guy out. Uh, let's see, skeletons, they can hit pretty hard, actually. So if you run into a lot of them, you can cast Snowblast or Blazemore on them, because they've got a lot of HP. Huh, sleep didn't work on them. Well, they only have 30% resistance to sleep, but, well, for some reason it didn't work too well on them. So, let's go all out again. Man, I'm not used to having the hero in the lead there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let's try putting them to sleep again. Nuts! Must not be my lucky day. Oh, well. But anyway, Voodoo Shamans, yeah, you see they cast Vivify there to revive their compatriots there. Uh, they can cast Heal more, summon other enemies. It's really damn annoying. Uh, fortunately, though, when they do revive someone with Vivify, it only revives them with 50% HP, and they uh, it only has, like, I think a 50% success rate. So it's not that bad to have to deal with. Yeah, I just got really unlucky with sleep not working on them. Uh, I don't know if you saw that, but uh, the skeletons can cast defense also to lower your defense, further increasing the damage that they can deal to you. So, yeah, it's a pretty dangerous cave. I would try not to use the wizard's ring if you can avoid it. But, you know, if you have to, well, do what you gotta do. Okay, we got a new enemy, Curers. Uh, those guys, well, they're also pretty annoying, but uh, let's see. Let's send two guys at the lethal armors, then I'll use Snow Blast on them. Or wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Uh, solo, use Stop Spell on the Curers, and then have two guys go after them. Then use Snow Blast on the lethal armors. Hopefully that'll work. Now the Curers can cast Heal All, so that's why I want to use Stop Spell on them. They don't have that much resistance to it. Four out of five. Not bad. Not bad. So, yeah, using Stop Spell, that's the way to go. And then the rest of them are relatively easy to get. I've heard that you can recruit them in Dragon Quest V, and I don't know about six. I know there's some slime thing going on there. Whatever. But uh, they are susceptible to fire as well. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and use that. Um, you know what? Let's save my MP for now. I think we're doing pretty good. But yeah, they don't have that much HP, and if only one of them can cast it, cast heal all, then I think we're fine. Well, that didn't work too well. well Kill one of them. No, oh, two of them. All right, there we go. So yeah, just a couple more to go. But yeah, those the lethal armors and the cures make a deadly combination if you don't use stop spell. Um, let's see, if you don't have uh, snow blast for the lethal armors, uh, you could also use surround on them. But uh, that's one re big reason why I made a sage. I thought about not using a Sage to avoid some level grinding, but I think the benefits of having both Pilgrim and Wizard Spells are just too good to avoid. Or, well, too good to ignore. Game? Uh, anyway, now we can open this treasure chest. Ooh, some gold. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a strength seed. I'm just gonna sell that. Some people were saying, why not hold on to them into the vault until, like, the end of the game and then just use them, like, just before the final boss to get the stat boost, when I won't care about the, uh, stat boost, and I suppose you could do that. I just like selling them for the gold. And by the way, if you do start running low on MP, sorry, I lost my train of thought earlier, but, uh, you can use Rob Magic on Lethal Armors and Voodoo Shamans. Th those are probably the two best enemies to... Rob magic to re restore your MP. Ooh, a piece of candy. It's like a trail of red cups. Not the freaking guardian acorns again! No. No. Although, interestingly enough, when we created my guild in World of Warcraft, we made our guild tabard, the, the symbol on our guild tabard, an acorn. Eh, maybe I told you that before, but, well, maybe some of you didn't know that. Now let's see what's in this room. Yeah, finally, the real treasure around it. Whoa, holy crap, a mimic! Nuts. But anyway, I think we're strong enough to take out these guys. They will try to kill you with, um, what is it, with defeat. They have pretty high resistance to sleep. 
But, uh, well, I got a little lucky there. Did he just cast sleep twice? Huh. That's weird. Well, let's try it again. And they don't have perfect resistance. Oh, his MP isn't high enough! Woohoo! I can survive! But, uh, yeah, we'll maybe I should try casting away. Uh, yeah, I don't want to lose all my MP, but, uh, whoo! Yeah, we should be fine now. Oh, I guess he does attack two times per round. Well, there we go. At least we got him! We survived! And yeah, all those chests there, they are, um, they're all mimics, so, um, no, nah, I don't think I'm gonna fight them. No, that would be a bad idea because they can kill you. So, okay, well now I'm gonna backtrack to about the stairs there and uh, move on with the dungeon then. Okay, we're back and on the way back, I uh, actually gained a level for my Sage at level 21. We learned the Almighty Bi-Kill spell. It doubles your damage output for a single ally. So that's really good. It's necessary for killing some bosses. And if you have a wizard, you probably want to learn that at level 21 before class changing instead of doing it right at level 20 like most classes would want to. But anyway, let's go drop down here and grab this treasure. Yeah, that's how you're supposed to get over here. And in this chest, we get the Mirror of Ra. Now, I could warp out of here, but... You know, I want to grab some other treasure around here first. What, there is one particular thing that I'm interested in. Oh boy, I'm starting to run low on MP here. If you absolutely have to, you could rob magic from one of your other party members. It's guaranteed to work if you use it on your own party members. Just like if you were to put your one of your party members to sleep if they were afflicted with chaos. But anyway, this treasure, chest we get the animal suit? Well, that's completely useless. Okay, well, I'll meet you back down by the stairs below that I passed up there a moment ago. Okay, I made it back here. Got a little bit of my MP. Actually, by fighting on the one enemy that I haven't demonstrated here yet, Terror Shadows, you can, uh, rob magic from them. And, uh, did I show these guys off earlier? I forget, but I'm going to show them off again. Uh, the way you can defeat these guys, not so much defeat them, but, uh, well, actually, you can. You can cast defeat on them. Uh, I would actually use beat, though, because you probably haven't gotten defeat yet. They have really high defense, so you want to put them to sleep. And that's pretty much the, the easiest way of, of dealing with them. Unfortunately, my sage really can't deal any damage to them with physical attacks. If you have a wizard, probably the best thing you could do is snow blast. But even then, they its it, they have really high resistance to it, but they don't have low resistance to many things. They're kind of like metal creatures. They can also use Sweet Breath on you. That can be really annoying. But, uh, well, fortunately, they didn't use it on me. So, there we go. Here we get the Stone of Life. If I recall correctly, I'm not 100% sure how it works. I think if you have it in your possession and you die, or you would die, like from an instant death spell, the Stone of Life will save you from dying or something. Or maybe it puts you at 1 HP. I'm probably thinking of another game that has a similar effect. And here we got another new enemy, Terror Shadow, finally. Nuts. Nuts! They ambushed me. Well, this is why you want to cast Stop Spell on them. But, well, they got the jump on me. Nuts! Uh, let's see. Let's use... Oh, well, now I have to use Stop Spell. If I have to, I'll use the Wizard Ring, but I'd really rather not. As you can see, they got plenty of MP, so I could... Uh, what is it? I, I could u use uh, Rob Magic on them to, you know, get some MP back, but... Ow! Yeah. <laughs> wow. The rest of the treasure here isn't important, so if you are low on MP like I am, you could just say, uh, you know what, screw it, I'm getting out of here. Any chests that I'm passing up now are mimics, by the way, so just so you know. There's some chests up there in the room there, but those are mimics too, so I'm just going to grab the last of the treasure here that are not mimics. Okay, there we go. So let's head back to, uh, yeah, one of you guys cast outside. The other one cast return, and holy cow, I barely made it. Yeah, yeah, let's just uh, get back to Seminale. I want to sell all my excess items, rest up at the end, and then I'll just meet you inside there. 
Okay, we're all set and ready to go. Uh, oh, actually, you know what? I want to use the Lamp of Darkness because now we want to use the Mirror of Ra on the king there. But remember when we tried to walk up to him last time and he, he threw us away before, or into the jail before we could actually use it on him. So we need to make it nighttime in order to get close enough to him because, well, as the other old man was telling us, he likes to sleep in his chambers alone at night. So that's how you're supposed to figure that out. So let's head on over here then. I also had actually quite a bit more gold than I usually have at this point for some reason. So I purchased a second silver shield for my soldier there. If you don't have that, it's not critical at all. But, you know, I figured, well, it's the best shield in the game for quite a few classes. So I figured, okay, I might as well uh, show that to you there. Man, you really want to use that Staff of Thunder on the door, don't you, Solo? But anyway, I will show you how to get to the King's Chambers. Normally, it... Well, I'll just tell you, it's not really a spoiler. There's the stairs right behind his throne there. That leads to his chamber. But we can't get there because there's a guard in the way. So we gotta go Metal Gear Solid on this game and find another way around. I'll be honest, viewers, I have not played any of the Metal Gear Solid games. My knowledge of Metal Gear Solid is limited to Mary, what I've seen in Mary Gear Solid. And from what I've played in World of Warcraft with the Rogue, Eh, stealth just really isn't my thing. Now anyway, once you get up to the roof of this tower, you fall over here! And there you can get to his chamber. So, yeah, a little tricky there, but I like it. How's it going? Oh, okay. Well, let's use the Mirror of Ra to reveal your true colors! I knew it all along! Oh, hey, it's one of those gremlins from the last game. He's never let, gonna let us get out alive! For boss time! The leader of all internet trolls! I will kill you all at last! No, no. But actually, uh, this guy has a lot of resistance to elemental spells. So what you want to do is use our new bike kill spell. Yeah, look at that damage! Holy cow! He can also get critical hits on you, so you gotta watch out for that. Try to keep your HP high. Well! There we go. That was enormously easier than I thought it would be. You can also win, I think, a unique sword from him, like a Thor sword or something like that. I don't know. But, uh, well, you can. It's really rare, though. But for defeating him, we get the Staff of Change. What can we do with that? What can we change into with it? What does the old man want with that stick anyway? Sounds creepy. Find out next time on Let's Play Dragon Warrior 3! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!